How am I supposed to choose just one Kakarot? Oh, 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 it's impossible. Today we take a look at two Gokus with black hair, one that's a little more traditional and one from the new superhero movie. And by new, I mean, it was like, what, two years ago? <laughs> but I am super late to SH Figure Arts and Dragon Ball and I am late to these figures, but I personally want a, just a nice classic Goku with black hair, okay? But then I was like, I'm gonna get this one because he was only like $34.99, I think? Ordered on Amazon. Yeah, the colors are different. There's some other changes like the chest piece, but I don't know. So the struggle is real, baby. And I'm gonna try to help you, if you're in the same boat as me, find out which one is the definitive Goku because he's got jaundice, he's the different orange. So let's open them up and compare. So this is specifically a Saiyan raised on Earth, okay? So just so you know, when you're looking for SH Figure Arts Online, it's actually kind of hard because they don't always include a subtitle. They don't always have the subtitle in the description, maybe in the top box, and you don't know. And if you're new to the line, it's really hard. And if you're shopping on like Mercari or something, it's just like, I don't know, is that a good price? Is that a right thing? It's just one of the most important things you can do though is make sure that this stupid little label's on here. One of these, whichever one is on the front of the box, make sure one of these authentic authentication labels there because you don't want to knock off unless you do want to knock off and you pay like 15 bucks for it and then you deal with some crappy paint but let's check out this box so you get some shots on the side of the figure you get a that's a figure shot if i ever saw one <laughs> i guess you can see through it all right anyway top of the box uh this is for display purposes so light comes in lights up your package boy you get to instant transmission so that's cool kind of helps you with the timeline of which goku this is on the back of it you get super modeling you get super action and then you get simple style and heroic action. <laughs> Anywho, it's all in English or Japanese. Whatever you need, whatever you want to read, it's there, baby. You get all this stuff and then you can use, you know what's really cool? If you open up your phone and you go to Google Translate, you can actually take a photo or look at it in real time. Click the camera button and then boom, we are going to translate that for y'all right here. Even though it's kind of just like, you know, stuff nobody really cares about, right? This is uh, in Spanish. <laughs> Why? So there you go, never give it to children under the target age. And then you just get all these like little bits and pieces at target age is 15 and over. So whatever, but that's a fun, you know, Google Translate, great app, especially if you're buying some other imports that don't put any of the English on there and you wanna know what the heck it says. Well, we know what this says. Let's open it and find out what our Goku boy is all about in this sand raised on earth version all right simple insert just yellow boring lame but that's okay i mean these aren't really the kind of boxes you get uh inserts for and then put those on the shelves you probably find some other ways to display your boys like a detoff or some other kind of you know dio or a diorama or something so here we go classic sh figure art style you get this clamshell you know top bottom package piece easy there's no straps holding these guys in which i am very much a fan of there's a little bit of plastic around the arms here to prevent scuffing of the plastics and shipping and one huge thing that i noticed uh while they were in the box between this and this one is he's got all of his black outlines around his face which i like that adds a little bit more cartoon look to it where this one is really missing all of those black outlines well let's fully get this thing out of the box all right goku one out of the box saiyan raised ra ra raised <laughs> saiyan raisin earth let's get this one out so the bo uh, box is basically the same thing I mean, you know, whatever we don't we're not here for boxes some of y'all are you know, definitely in this realm a lot of people keep the boxes i don't think they sell very well without the box Maybe because what? It's an easy way to authenticate how real it is? Maybe? I don't know. So the plastic protection piece on this one is all in the torso area, which is interesting. None of it is in the sleeves or around the feet like that one was. They're weird. I wonder why that was the case. All right, so we got both of them out and man, does that not make him look incredibly yellow? Especially probably on camera, it might even be worse. But this looks like his his correct skin tone from the animation this is like extra yellow i don't know what is the deal with that this is a strange one and i don't think you can like take these things apart enough to swap over your 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 items so like something really important to consider here is that if you're like well i'll just get both of them and have maybe some unique expressions on this one well it's not gonna work <laughs> how, how yellow that makes his skin look 
by putting that one on there. <laughs> That's insane. So yeah, unfortunately you can't mix and match. Now I'm wondering, is this one gonna be good enough if you exclude this one and look at him uh, does does that coloring look okay? But again, I don't I don't know. Is it just this monitor? Is it the camera? What's it gonna look like to you guys? <laughs> it's worse on on the screen. What's up with that? Uh, do I need to really adjust my white balance in this camera? I thought I had it perfect. Anyway, let's look at the accessory pieces, right? So let's kind of pull these faces away and kind of look at the differences of what we get with the hand. So we, they both come with instant transmission. You get these kind of fighting hands. You get these grippy hands. And now we're into the difference because what's on here by default is this hand. Okay, so let's try to keep these things compared as much as possible. So they both have this on by default, but over here you get this one and here you get these spread out really for his blast effects, which of course don't come in these boxes. And I think you have to spend quite a bit more to get figures that do have those. And uh, I don't really know enough about all these things to know how to get effects, okay? So yeah, that's the difference there. Obviously the color is drastically different. We have the faces now. Let's see what we got. Let's take them off the heads and then compare all of them. Okay, so the way I have the faces set up are the closest expressions to match up. So the weird thing is about the one with the kind of um, more pink tones than yellow is that that's just the same face, but his eyes are looking to the left versus kind of straight on. <laughs> uh, plus he's got uh, the black outlines on his brow there. So it's a kind of changes the expression a little bit, I guess. Like this one's a little more brow furled, even though it's the same sculpt, exact same sculpt, just the difference of where the paint's at. And that's closest to the jaundice version <laughs> that's too yellow. So he's just kind of got this plain expression uh, no outlines. Maybe this is kind of like the younger, more youthful version where this is maybe aged a little bit because it is later in the series. I don't know. They even made a comment that when he went to Super Saiyan God that they were like, oh, he looks so much more youthful. So I, I, I don't know. <laughs> These two, I guess, are the closest to each other. So the yelling expression is essentially the same, but the brows, look at how different the brows are. So yellow version has just kind of browsed down a little bit angry mouth open paint looks good and this one with the expression with the brows up this is just seems even angrier powering up big time baby black outlines really make a huge difference i, I love it this expression is a unique and eyes to the left so i guess you, you technically with both of these figures you get eyes to the left but with the difference of like he, he's his mouth is now gritting teeth <clears throat> whatever now the more pinkish toned version his happy kind of jolly goku face is here lots of line work uh mouth is a little off center on purpose but i mean it, it looks good and then the happy version for the yellow one is here so a, a nice different expression just is a bummer that his skin tone isn't the same because then you could kind of argue with yourself that I'm going to get both of these and mix and match their faces, but you can't. Which versions of Goku can I mix and match faces? Is there a third skin tone color out there that is going to really make this a problem? All right, let's look at them. The figures themselves, I mean, they're they're really reusing a lot of the same parts. OK, so the biggest difference between the two of them uh, sculpt wise is going to be the chest piece. So the lower shirt uh, on this one versus this, but everything else is like the same part, just repainted, uh, even down to the shoes. So the colors get swapped around a little bit. This is the orange that I was wanting. This is what I thought by the end of the t by the end of the review. I thought like, well, this is this is definitely going to be the one I want. I mean, but side by side, I hate this one. I really love the orange because this is like a, a kind of more faded version, but it's got all of this like, look, there's paint going on here. So it's got this like gradient of brighter down to darker, except for on the back of it. It's just a super plain, boring plastic, the same as this Goku, which is super weird. Obviously there's color differences in the kanji on the back, which this is like an off-white, bright white. Uh, the script is done obviously different as well. Same on the front. But man, this is like, this has actually gotten like tougher. I mean, there's a little bit of yellowing here because it's painted, uh, where it's molded in orange, I guess, and then painted this, his flesh here. But it's like, that doesn't have enough pink in it. It's got a little bit of yellow to it, which is weird. This, the whole thing is yellow. But again, it's substantially worse on screen. 
So I, I don't know, when I'm editing this thing, I don't know if I can get these colors to show up correctly, but it's not as bad in person. So maybe I'm still happier, but this one really does hold a lot more weight because the coloring is just, yeah, I guess the gradients and stuff, they actually kind of come out better in the, in the black outlines. Anyway, difference in the finish in the hair as well. So you get a matte finish. It's very obvious on this one. There's a semi gloss on this one, but I think it's the exact same hair sculpt. Uh, again, just like kind of repainted. So I don't know, let, what, let me know down in the comments, which of these two, um, <laughs> if you reduce the yellowness on here, which of the two of these do you really enjoy? Which one is your definitive Goku? Because I thought for sure this was gonna be the winner, uh, but let's get Vegeta over here and see which skin tone matches up a little bit better because that might be my deciding factor because I gotta put those two boys together. Now, this is the Vegeta that I have. So this is the uh, Blood Awakening or whatever, Awakened Blood Super Saiyan, <laughs> um, which is such a great figure. And the price, $34.99 on that guy. I love when they're $34.99. I don't like when they're like $80 and up. It's crazy. And then the aftermarket. Oof. Gross. Vegeta's tone is perfect. His skin tone is like the happy medium between the two of them. This one, they, they, I don't know. It's, it's maybe a better compliment, but look at this one. It just, he looks, <laughs> it's insane. Again, not as bad in person, but, ugh, yeah, I don't know. And his skin is really mattified, which is nice. Goku's got a little bit of glossiness to him. Um, oh man. I thought that was gonna find a clear winner. I look, him up, I look at him on here and I hate this one. I look at it in person and I'm like, this is fine. And I guess at the end of the day, if I'm looking at it in person, that's, I'm the person that's looking at it. <laughs> so does it really matter? The sculpt is the same. The uh, articulation is gonna be the same. It's just those face plates and stuff and the color of the skin that's, uh, well, the colors overall and the difference of the face plates. What am I saying? I don't know. I still want some blast effects like big time, but, oh my God. Okay, let's not look at that screen. Let's look at them in person here. But how am I supposed to choose just one Kakarot? Oh, 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 it's impossible. It's so clear to me now. <laughs> I would get the new one, the superhero. It's cheaper. It looks really good in person and on camera. And of course you can adjust your white balance to try to get rid of this <laughs> yellowness, but I don't know. I, I guess it's this one. I like the facial expressions fine uh, across the board, but you get a lot of the same hands. I really like this hand though for Goku. I mean, it's kind of classic, but yeah, I guess uh, by barely a, a margin of anything, one point will say this is the definitive Goku, at least with black hair and orange outfit. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. This is when we get into the posing segment, which with this brand is always a blast. So please stick around and enjoy that segment. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>